Well, hello there friends and welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you. And if we have, you know, it's always a pleasure and it's always good to see you again. Today I'm here with Timo Hall number 16. Now I have the overhead fan going and I have my little cooler in front of me. So if you hear noise, that's why, because it's hot. And even though I have the AC on, it cycles on and off. So right now it's in it's off mode because it's reached the temperature that I have it set to. So in the interim, I use fans. So I hope it's not too distracting. I'll try to talk loud. Um, I don't wanna yell at you, but I'll try to talk a little louder than normal. But let me just jump right into this haul. I've got three small packages that I wanna share with you. And the first one, oh, I haven't covered the address again. I'm slipping, I'm slipping. The first one is the small package right here. And then we have another small one, which I just got this one today. There's a small one there. And then the last one is this one. So I wanna see if I can get through all of these packages with Timu Hall number 16. So let's jump right in and we're gonna start with this one first because I'm hoping it's only like one or two things in here. So the first thing, let's pull it out. Oops, maybe it's four things in here. Okay, so the first item I'm gonna share with you, let's get the small ones out of the way. And I wanted to tell you guys that on my haul 15, I ordered this lip oil. And that's all that I have on my lips today. And I wanna see how I like it because when I hauled it, it didn't look very much like an oil. It looked more like a gel. So I wanted to use it today so you could see, just to give you an idea, see how jelly it looks. It doesn't look like an oil. And it goes on like thick. It's not like an oil. And it's a cherry flavor. It doesn't give me much color, but it gives me a lot of shine. It's very thick, but it doesn't feel like an oil. It feels more like a, like a thick Vaseline, but anyways, Sorry, I didn't mean to segue, but I just, since I had it here, I wanted to share that with you. Um, so here's the first item I'm gonna share with you in this haul today. And let's open it up for you. Oh, I said I was gonna do the small items first, didn't I? Oh, well, we'll segue back to those after this one. So here's a nice little dust bag, and this is a cute little dupe Louis Vuitton, I believe it is. I never know for sure which dupe is being duped. I mean, which bag is being duped and which designer. But it's this cute little bag, and I think it's supposed to be a Louis Vuitton dupe. And it's got the quilted look to it, but it feels more like a, it, uh, what would I say, a kind of a patent leather. It's not shiny, as you can see, it's more of a matte color. And this is a little chain, um, a little chain design or piece of decor. Oh, let's take this off of the emblem here. There we go. So it's a nice shiny gold uh, emblem that says, looks like an S and a V instead of an L and a V. And then you open it up with this, the magnetic closure here. And on the inside, it's got filler inside. Remove that. And then it has the handle. Oh, it's pretty long. Okay, it has the chain handle. Hold on, I didn't think it was gonna be so long. Well, let me show you the inside first. That's what the inside looks like. Turn on the light, there you go. Here's the inside, it looks pretty clean on the inside, you know, considering it's just a simple dupe. 
And then it's got this zipper pocket in the back. The zipper works pretty well. This is a very thin zipper sleeve pocket, so you're not gonna get much in here, just something nice and thin. Not even a phone, I don't think, could fit back in there, but it can fit in the main pocket. So you're not gonna carry a whole lot in this. It's more like a little evening bag. Um, but here is the strap or the handle. And this is how long it is. So it's got some great length to it. I didn't know, I thought it might be about like this uh, long, but it's actually quite lengthy. So it can make a great shoulder bag, possibly even a crossbody bag, but it's really cute. It's a cute little size. Um, I like this because even though it's not an L and a B, it still looks designer. And I like the size of it. And this little dangle, I like the weight that this little dangler has to it as well. So that's the first item. Second item I'm going to share with you is another bag. Now the reason I've been hauling so many bags lately is because I'm trying to find a crossbody bag that I like. Now this came in this uh, bag. Everything is flying because of my fan is going. Um, let's see if I can just contain it a little bit so they don't go flying all over the place. Okay, and then there's this dust bag that this one came in. And what this is, now I think this would make a good crossbody bag. It's a nice bag. This is what it looks like. It comes in brown, black, and I think a dark brown, like a like a fudge brown, if I recall. Um, but this is real leather. And then it has this back pocket that I like because it's got a lining inside. It feels vinyl, like a vinyl type of a um, lining. Like you could wipe it down. But I like this back pocket because it's kind of to me like a, not a secret pocket, but a, a special safety pocket where you can put stuff in and people can't get to it if they were trying to take stuff from you. It has this handle at the top. It has a strap. Now this strap is definitely long enough to be a crossbody strap for sure. And it's got a belt adjuster right here. Let's take this off. If I can get it off, okay. So it adjusts, it has a adjuster like this. can make it smaller or taller. So if you want to shorten it up, you can do that. You can just do it under your shoulder. And then on the front, it has a pocket with two magnetic closures. Something in there. Oh, just some more packaging. So it has a nice deep pocket. It goes from here all the way down to there. You can put a lot in here. Definitely your phone, sunglasses, home or a brush, you can put a lot in here. And then you have this zipper pocket in the front, which goes pretty deep as well. And it gives you a little bit more room in this one. Um, this one is lined, so is this one. And then you have a loop in the front. You can loop some keys or a cute little keychain dangler, all those little cute, cutesy things I've been buying. I could loop one of them here. Um, and then the inside pocket, which is pretty, pretty big. That's what the inside looks like. And it goes deep. I'm trying to see where the light is getting. So you can see how deep it goes. And it goes deep, as you can see all the way down there. And then also there's one more pocket on the inside, a zipper pocket here on the inside. It's a pretty good size, a zipper pocket. So as you see, this bag is a good option for a crossbody bag. Um, and I'll probably use it for that as well. 
I just thought it wasn't as girly because I do believe they market this as a male bag, a bag for men. So, but women of course can use this, but it just wasn't as cutesy as I was looking for. So um, when I first saw it, I loved it. But then I saw other options that were more, that seemed more feminine to me. But I, this is a nice bag, don't get me wrong. I know I'm going to use it. This is probably gonna be the one that works the best because of the amount of things that I wanna put in here. I want to be able to take my current backpack and have everything in that backpack fit in whatever crossbody bag that I choose. And so far, <laughs> this is probably the only one that's going to be able to accommodate all of that. I found my seam rippers or snippers, whatever you want to call them. So let's open that. You know, anything interesting about this bag, you guys, it's not orange. My last two bags, I'm gonna cover the address again, were not orange. They only have like this tape that says Timo across the top. So I wonder if they're getting rid of the orange bags. Maybe they're too visible and people now know that it's a Timu bag because, you know, they, it's caught on and people probably have been stealing packages. I don't know this. I'm guessing, like, why all of a sudden I'm not getting orange bags anymore. I find that interesting. Okay, so inside this bag, it's only three things. One I really need, and when I show you, you're going to understand why. Okay, so the first thing, oh, did they bend it? This isn't supposed to be bent like that, is it? All right, the first thing is this. And what this is, it's a, like a stone, not a stone, it's a silver, I want to say a silver rock, but it's not a rock. It's a piece of silver that you use. If you ever are cooking and I think it's stainless steel, I'm saying silver, but I think it's stainless steel, some kind of metal. It'll, you'll see it in the description that I have on the screen. But this is so when you are cooking and let's say you cut up an onion, garlic, that stuff that leaves a smell on your hand and you wanna get rid of it, you wipe your hand with this metal rock it's not a rock but i don't know what to call it this little pebble this piece of metal here you wipe just like you would do soap and you rub it all around your hands like that and it will get rid of the stinky onion garlic smell fish anything that you pick up when you're cooking so this is handy now i know that this works because you can also do it with a spoon if you have a metal spoon like a i think it's stainless steel that it's supposed to work with but i've done it with a spoon before so this is the same idea and it definitely works so i'm hoping this is going to work just as well as a spoon does the next thing i got is this and it just looks like a little tube but what it is is something that i always can use and if this works the way it's supposed to it's for wrapping paper when you're wrapping a gift and you're cutting your wrapping paper and you slide this along the roll like you put the roll of wrapping paper in here when you're ready to cut the piece that you want to cut and you see inside of here there's a blade and so you slide this along the length of the wrapping paper and this blade will give you a nice straight cut every time i try to cut with scissors it goes you know crooked it's never really straight unless you have that wrapping paper that has the lines on it and still sometimes it's not perfect but if you have this then you can just slide it right down the roll and keep it and get a nice straight cut so i am anxious to see how this is going to work and if it's going to work as well as they have advertised and it's a pretty good size. Um, I don't know, it looks like it might expand a little. 
And some rolls are really big, so it's only going to fit a certain number of them, but I think it's probably, it probably will fit a pretty standard size roll of wrapping paper. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then the last thing in this uh, envelope is this, and this is what I was saying, I really need this. And what it is, is a sunglass organizer. It's an organizer for your sunglasses. It's a better way to say it. Let's pull it out. And it's supposed to hold, I believe it's 32 pairs of sunglasses. It's double-sided. So it opens up like that. I can't even get the whole thing in here, but that's how long it is. And it's double-sided. And it has a hanger at the top so you can hang it in your closet or on the wall wherever you want to hang it and this is the metal part that they bent in wrapping it right here they had this bent in half so it's pretty sturdy and this fabric is pretty thick and sturdy and i wish i had some sunglasses here let's just take my glasses the reading glasses here and just to give you an idea of how they look once you stick them in a slot. Looks like that. And you know sunglasses are much bigger than just regular reading glasses, so they'll probably take up a lot more of the space. So that's kind of cool, because I probably can fill this up right now with how, how many glasses, sunglasses that I've been ordering from Timu, Timu lately. So that's that. And then the last bag has three items or two items and let me get those and I will be done with this short sweet haul. Okay you guys I forgot that I had the two small accessories that I mentioned earlier and this is one of them. This was this is a pair of earrings and I believe that they are dupe earrings for one of the designers not sure which but they're really nice i want to say gucci but i don't quote me on that because <laughs> i'm always wrong but they're really nice i do like them a lot and they say stainless steel on the packaging so they're a nice just a nice, it looks like a little uh, gold brick. So I really like these and they're not very heavy, but they look very elegant. So they're definitely a dupe for one of the brands. And then this other piece right here, this is a bracelet, a gold bracelet to add to the gold that I've been trying to incorporate in my, uh, jewelry trying to add more gold to it so what it is it's a chain bracelet it has a diamond on the end and there's no rhinestones or bling or anything and it just has like texture on it and then the other end has like that T where you stick it in the T like this but the problem is I think this is a bad design because it won't stay closed. It's supposed to look like that. But that T keeps coming out. Watch. See how it just falls off. So don't order this if you see it. Because this T, for whatever reason, will not stay the way it's supposed to stay in this triangle. It's just the wrong shape. It's supposed to look like that but it just keeps falling out it just falls right out it does not want to stay in there and i don't know what to try to make it stay but once it drops down it just falls out you'll lose this in a new york second if you try to wear this thing so i don't recommend it okay the last bag has these three items in it okay let's Here's the first item. 
and it's my first, very first piece of clothing, or her very first article of clothing that I've ordered from Timu, Timu. And it's just a simple shirt. Like a tank top shirt. And it's just a simple shirt all the way down. Very soft fabric, fabric, very comfortable. Um, even though it has holes through, it's not see-through. I've already worn this shirt in my uh, video before this, my haul before this, number 15. So this is the shirt that I was wearing. And it's very comfortable, it's very stretchy. Nice big uh, room around the sleeves. So I liked it. This shirt, the only reason I bought this article of clothing is because they gave me a huge discount on it. I would not have bought it for the regular price that it was listed for because I just wasn't sure about their clothes and if I would like the material. But I was pleasantly surprised with that one. It's actually a very nice, um, comfortable material and I would recommend that shirt if you can get it at a good price. I still don't know if I would pay the regular price they're asking, but for the price that's, that they offered it to me for, I thought it, you know, it made it a great deal. For the last two items, this first one, looks like this and what it is is this was another option for a crossbody bag which it could work as a crossbody but it's much smaller than what I thought it would be you know which is what happens all the time the, the pictures make it look so much bigger in a lot of cases what it is is this cute little baseball uh, wallet so the the cap part or the head part pokes out right here. And then this is the cap part. So this part unzips like this. And then inside, and it's just a little cheap plastic, well, inexpensive like vinyl on the inside. It has a cute little strap, little thin strap. It's pretty good quality for a strap better than some of the other ones I've seen. And I like the plastic hardware because I know it's going to work well. It, it does have the 360 uh, turning ability, rotation. And it comes also with a little button that says, hi, Nana. Nana, hi, Nana. Oops, there it went. Oh, here we go. Okay, it says, hi, Nana, Nana, Nana or Nana. And uh, here, so here's the bag. It also comes with this little dangly thing on it, just like a little trending little dangly thing that has the brand Soraka. So you can remove this, of course, if you wanted to with the carabiner. That's what's used to attach it to this little loop right there. Um, and this is the loop where you put your strap. So you've got the inside and it's very pliable. It's not a stiff bag. You zip that up. And then the top part right here also poops out and you can put stuff in there to fill in the hat. So let me see if I can push this squeeze this shirt in here so you can kind of get an idea of the shape and how it looks like a baseball cap. Oh, this is perfect. So you see, <laughs> so I just put that whole shirt in there. So now it looks like a baseball cap. So as you fill it up with stuff, it'll take more of the baseball cap look. And then you put your strap on that. And this strap is adjustable, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, it is adjustable like this. And it gives you a great length, which could allow this to be a crossbody option, but it's too small for what I would need it for. But nonetheless, very cute. You can run out of the house with just some sunglasses, wallet, some money, your phone. My phone could definitely fit in here. And I'm shortening the strap so you can see the flexibility in the strap length. 
so it goes from long to basically like shoulder but i thought this was so cute had it been a little bigger it might have been a better option but i could still use this just for a run out the house and come right back type of thing <laughs> but it's so different and i love wearing baseball caps so i thought this was very appropriate let me take this shirt out of here before i forget where i put it See how this whole shirt just fit in there, just to give you an idea of the, what you can stuff in this top part. All right, and then the last one um, that I want to share with you, which I was very happy to get this one. I was surprised when I saw it, um, and I ordered it right away. And it's this one right here. This is what it looks like. Let me make some room on my table. So this is what it looks like wrapped up. Okay. look familiar so far let me open it up okay so we open that up and this comes out uh oh backwards looking familiar so far i know a lot of you guys are saying or recognizing this one and then you open this one up and you have your little coin purse you have your shoulder strap or your guitar strap as they call it and you also have your chain so i thought i can't believe this is the dupe for the louis vuitton multiple starts with a p oh i can't think of the word but i have to put it on the screen but many of you know what i'm talking about so it's this one and so we take the original bag and they're all lined where they're both the bags are lined on the inside with this light uh, fabric. And then this one has a little slip pocket here in the back. It's not gonna hold much. I mean, it, it does open up pretty wide though, but it's not gonna hold a whole lot. Something thin and flat would be more appropriate to go in here. Of course, you can fit your cell phone in here and some sunglasses, a small wallet. Um, and then inside of this one as well, it's just this pocket. There's no additional slip pockets. It's just this pocket here. But the beauty of this bag, you have so much versatility. So the first thing is you can take this chain and you can, here's the clip, a nice lobster clip. Clip it onto the D-ring on the bag. And the hardware on this is really nice. This is some secure hardware, better than I've felt on any of the other bags. Even on uh, on this uh, Louis dupe right here, hardware is much more sturdy than this one. So you've got that option. And then you take the smaller bag like this, and you zip it up. Zippers all work very nicely, nice and smooth. So this one fits on the front with, I'm gonna take this and attach it to the D-ring. All of the hardware rotates 360 degrees. And it pops on very easy as you just saw. Nothing difficult or hard. And then, then you can hold it like that. Okay. You can also take this chain off the big one and just use it on the small one if you just wanted a smaller bag and you didn't want the bigger bag. And then you also can make it a crossbody with this adjustable strap, which is a nice, thick, sturdy strap. It doesn't have anything printed on it. Everything is just like a chocolate brown. But you take this strap and you also attach it to the D-ring. Very easy to just pop right on. Now you've got yourself a nice shoulder bag again, or you can extend this all the way out and get a nice long strap for a crossbody. 
see how long it now becomes. And this is a great deal at a great price. It's still available when I did this haul anyway. So let's make it back small. And then the last thing you can do with this bag is this little wallet right here. <clears throat> of course, it attaches to this little loop right here. This is the thinnest piece of hardware. This one doesn't match all the other ones, but it's still nice and sturdy for the little chain coin purse. So now you've got your crossbody, you've got your coin purse, you've got two size options. You can keep them all together or you can split them up. And if you're not using this chain, you just slip it to the back and keep it moving. So you can fit quite a bit in here with these three options or you can just interchange them as you would like. You can just have this in the coin purse or the larger one in the coin purse, no coin purse at all. You can just have the metal strap or you can just do the guitar strap. So this was a great deal to get. I think it was $16. That is amazing. And I found the, the first listing that I found when I saw this, it was like 20, I want to say $24, like $23.98, something like that. And then I was shocked to see that they even had it. So when I kept looking, this one came up for the exact same thing for $16. They also had this in black and they had it in the, uh, the gray. It's like a white and gray color. I think it's white and gray. That one looked kind of nice. I like that one, but I didn't like the black one so much. But those were the, the uh, price that 24, I think it was like 23.98. They weren't 16, which was surprising to me because this is the most standard color, in my opinion, when you think of Louis Vuitton. So this one being the best price, I loved it because I got this bag and I've been wanting one. I wanted to get one of the replicas, but I wasn't able to work that out. So I was just that much more happier to get this one. So that's my haul today, you guys. Um, nice and quick. I feel like I had some good items in this one. So let's just do a quick recap, shall we, with the small things. I had this gift wrap cutter, gift wrap paper cutter. That's gonna allow you to slide and get those straight cuts. I had this stainless steel, I still don't know what to call it, pebble or stone, or it's not a stone or a rock, but you get the idea to help keep your hands. You would keep this in the kitchen. So when you get those food smells on your hand, you can just wipe them off and just treat this just like it's a bar of soap. And then we had this bracelet that doesn't work, this diamond bracelet with the T closure. Do not buy it. I, I'm warning you, if you see this, even though it's probably less than an ice cream cone take that money and put it towards something that you know is going to work this design it was a good idea but it will not stay closed i've tried everything now i don't know what i'm missing but unless i'm doing something wrong let me know but it will not stay closed so cute idea but not very effective these dupe earrings very nice very pretty very shiny and elegant I like these. This is my favorite pair of earrings that I have bought so far. It's the only pair that works. And if you've been watching my hauls, you know my earrings. I haven't had such great luck with them. And then I got this shirt. Very nice shirt. Simple tank shirt, tank top style shirt. Very comfortable, soft material. We got the dupe Louis bag. Pretty sure this is a Louis dupe. Very well made for the price, good quality. I like the handle, the chain handle or strap. So if you're going out to a little dinner, birthday dinner or first date, that's great. And then I got this crossover body bag, crossover. I keep saying crossover, this cross body bag that is really nice. And I, again, I think this is probably the one that's gonna be most appropriate for my needs, but I would like something if I can, a little more cute and more feminine. Now this one was fun, the baseball cap crossover bag, um, much smaller than I thought it would be. It's just pliable. 
So this is definitely just for a quick run to the store or down the street. You know, this is not gonna be doable or last, but this would probably be something good for vacation, something that's temporary um, that you're gonna use it for. And then of course that came with this little button. Uh, let's see here. And then we had my much needed sunglass organizer that holds 32 pairs of sunglasses, 16 on either side. And then last but not least, my favorite, my most favorite purchase is this Louis Vuitton multiple, I can't remember the word, policiary or something. <laughs> and that dupe is just amazing, amazing price. I hope that it's still available if some of you guys are interested in getting it. Um, $16.08, I believe. That's a steal for this. That's a steal. And I like the fact that it doesn't have any name on it that it is plain. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul and my little recap. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, please subscribe. I've got many more to come. If you're interested in purchasing any of these items, I have a discount code for you, which is OPT43129. And that is basically for first time users. You can save 30% off of your first order. I'll have the links to all of these items in the description box if there's room. And if there's not room, they're gonna be in the first pinned comment. But if there is room, I'll have them in both places like I try to do for every video. Sometimes the links run so big, I can't fit everything um, in the description box when I have a lot of items to share. But hopefully these will all fit in both places. So you can, for your convenience, you can find um, the links and the description and the pricing to all of these items in both of those areas. So again, my discount code is OPT43129, and I'm on the road to 16,000 subscribers. So please, if you like my videos and you wanna stay abreast of all the videos that are to come, then go ahead and subscribe. And on that note, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me and you have a great day. Bye-bye.